let's understand about the individual and market supply schedule now you know that a market let's say this rectangle represents the market but this market comprises of various firms and so on so this is firm 1 firm 2 firm 3 firm 4 firm 5 firm 6 okay now, when we talk about individual supply schedule, what do we mean? If you were to take any of these individual firms, it could be F1 or F2 or F3 or F4, when you take the quantity offered by an individual firm, let's say F1 in this particular case, for sale at different prices, okay, at given time. It is known as individual supply schedule. Okay? So what does this mean? This basically means that whatever is the quantity offered by the individual firm. There are various firms. Whatever quantity F1 offers at a particular point in time, that is referred to as individual supply schedule. So if you draw a table wherein you take the price and quantities offered for sale by F1, what you get is an individual supply schedule. Right? But when we talk about market supply schedule, what do you do? You take the quantity offered by all the individual firms. So you will take F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4 plus F5 plus F6. So let me show this to you. And I will take only two examples at this point in time okay so let's say there's a price 10 20 and 30 at price 10 f1 offers 50 kg 60 kg and 70 kg at these three prices let's say f2 offers 80 100 and 120 now when you draw an individual supply schedule you will take the price as this and the quantity as that of F1 or F2 as the case may be. But if suppose the market comprised only of F1 and F2, if you were to draw the market schedule, you will take the sum of these two, let's say it is 130, this is 160, this is 190. The quantity will be this, the price will be this, and when you draw the schedule, you will get the market supply schedule. So market supply schedule basically gives all the individual firms the quantity offered by all the individual firms okay, for sale at different prices at a given time. So instead of taking an individual firm, we take a total of all the firms operating in the market. For simplicity, I've just taken F1 and F2 here. They could be as many as possible. Right? So you take the aggregate. Aggregate supply. Okay? When you take the aggregate supply, along with the prices, the schedule that you draw, which is this, is known as the 
मार्केट सप्लाई स्केड्यूल 